Hi guys! I wanted to do a review of the new Caffeine Lights Morphe palette which I just received. Um, when it first came out on Morphe I was slow in getting it because I was thinking oh my gosh the shipping is so expensive. Um, I need to think of what other Morphe stuff I want uh, to ship together because it was something like 30 US dollars to, to ship to Singapore. Um, and I didn't expect it to sell that quickly, so in the end, I actually didn't get it from Morphe. Um, but firstly, Kathleen Light said that she was gonna. Yes, I follow her on YouTube. Um, firstly, she, Kathleen Light said that she would be getting um, see if she could get Morphe to restock because she didn't know how popular it's gonna be. Second, um, uh, by chance, uh, a local retailer called Coma Makeup. They actually. Uh, brought in the Kathleen lights. Uh, this is the second time and I got it this time and I was like so excited so This is what the box looks like I wasn't expecting a box that looked like this because I thought Kathleen lights it would be it, it would be white and gold, but I guess she did mention that uh, There weren't many options for them. I guess it was difficult to get them to even customize it this much so and the font like I like reading what she had to say, but this font is just, you, you're kidding me. But yeah, I bought it anyway, and I'm pretty excited about it. She did say that some of them are actually the single shadow, so the quality is um, a little better uh, than the regular palettes, which I do like, um, but only the 35F. I actually don't like the 35U. I don't like the 35B that I have because I find that the mattes are patchy and uh, I just don't get the, the level of pigmentation I want. I have actually swatched um, the, these two palettes and uh, posted them on my Instagram. So if you want to see swatches, they are there. So meanwhile, let's show you the um, Kathy Knight's palette. Like, well, yes, you can see I've already swatched these and um, I'm using them today. I love this green. I'm like, I live for this green. So pretty. Um, sorry, it's, it's pretty late at night now and I've been out the whole day. So my makeup's a bit shiny. But this is, this is after not touching up the whole day. So I'm pretty pleased. All I did was just reapply my lip gloss. I'm using Buxom in Stephanie. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I wish you could get Buxom here. But that aside, okay. So... Talking about these, there are seven shimmery um, metallic shades. I would say they're almost foils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, this one here in particular is actually, it's not a matte. It's, it's a matte texture, but it's got very fine micro glitter in it. So it's actually very pretty. Um, I, I'm loving the greens and... Um, Browns, kind of neutral, neutral with a kick. I, I I like to think of it, and I must say that this is not the only palette I have that has this kind of um color scheme. So I'm my other latest purchase, which I've not actually dug in yet. Whoa, where did that come from? Okay, is this? Oh, look at that! Yes, Natasha Denona. I can't wait to swatch these. After I finished all the other stuff that I just got recently, I haven't opened a lot of stuff yet, so I'm gonna do it slowly, savor it. <laughs> I don't want to do a haul and just like open everything. So I have like some surprises and like Santa well, myself has gifts for myself all the time. So I have a lot of unopened stuff, and I will slowly look at them. And as I told my friend Ellie, who who uh, does star Stardust and Sequins with me, um, that. I must get good pictures before I can open it. So, yeah, that's just me. So, let's get to swatching this. Um, again, for Morphe, I don't expect very much from the mattes. Even the mattes from the 35F were pretty patchy. I don't use them. I'll use my Kat Von D mattes or some other mattes with the frosty shades or metallic shades from 35F. And I think that works very well for me. Um, I always use a primer because I tend to go out. Um, I wear this to work, right? So I work, I'm out of the house 12 to 14 hours. So my makeup needs to last that long. Um, so I definitely use a primer for my, my eyeshadow 
and um, it's usually the Too Faced um, primer. So having said that, I try all uh, I will do swat finger swatches on just bare skin, but um, I think you can get a similar effect to the, the finger swatches with the primer. And um, I also like to apply anything that's metallic or foiled with a finger anyway, because I find that the synthetic brushes, sometimes they pick up, sometimes they don't, and sometimes you get a lot of kick up because when the shades are pigmented and soft, which is like the Morphe ones or maybe the Tarte ones, you get a lot of kick up and it's annoying when you dip a brush in and like, oh. So yeah, fingers. I wash, I do my um, makeup in the bathroom, so I wash my hands constantly. So no, I'm not dipping, dipping dirty fingers onto my eyes. I'm like, no. So, in, and uh, let's, without further ado, let me, oops, sorry. Let me get these swatched out for you guys. So I'll put them here. So the first shade I'm going to do is this gorgeous white gold color. See, oh, that is pretty. Like so pretty. I like that. Okay, next one I'm gonna do is this matte. Um, it's a matte cream shade. Very good for brow bone. Doesn't show up very much, but it would make a good base for any eyeshadow. Okay, I think I'll swatch them two by two. Okay, so next one is another matte. Uh, you don't see very much here, but it's a very pretty and actually these are better than the previous mattes I think they're smoother. They go on better. They're not really patchy at all And this one's a gorgeous copper copper color like I think it's very pretty Should I turn these down a bit so you can see better? Yeah, I think that's that's about it. So yeah, you can see that they are very pretty very quite pigmented. I won't say they're as pigmented as the 35F, but they're not bad actually. Okay, so the last color in the top row is this pretty, pretty, pretty bronze. Like, love this warm, beautiful bronze. I have no complaints actually with the first few shades, they're all very pretty. Next one I'm going to dip in is a uh, brown. It's just a nice, slightly cool brown. But you can see that, okay, this one's not so... The, again, the mattes are not very pigmented. Like, yeah, it's there. You can probably build it up, but it's not very pigmented, which is, I guess, typical of what I expect from Morphe. Um, the next color is this gorgeous metallic brown. It's just actually really nice. Yeah. And after that, we have a sort of red brown metallic. Wow, you can't see that one pretty much at all. Like, okay, I don't think it's a problem with the eyeshadow, it's just my skin. You can't see very well, but yeah. Okay, next color I'll be swatching are two mattes. This reddish brown, taupey, reddish taupey color. They're so light. They're pretty, but they're really light. And this metallic, well, actually no, it's not metallic. It's a, just a red, red sort of, red brown. Now, I expected this to be like a burgundy color. It's burgundy, but it's like berry, berry toned, but it's not very pigmented, which is what I've been um, expecting, like given that the the red browns are, are um, that are trending right now are really rich. And this one's not rich at all. I mean, it's pretty. It's gonna, it, you can build it up again. Like everything here kind of needs to be built up. It's, it's very pretty, it's very soft, but I must, I guess I would remember that this is Kathleen Light, so she goes for pretty, she's very fair. So all of these would probably look really nice on fair skins, but on darker skins, I can see that a lot of them would just blend in and disappear. So, okay, um, I ran out of space on this arm, so I will use my other arm. 
and swatch the last row. I actually like this dark brown shade quite a bit. I think it's very gorgeous. I think it's so pretty. It's a brown, but it's got an olive shift, an almost olive gold shift to it. I don't know, it's, it's, it's a brown with a gold. And this one, this is my favorite color of a lot. It's not as pigmented as I would like, but if you go over it, you can really build it up and it is beautiful. Um, I don't have any greens, emerald greens, quite this shade, so I'm quite happy with it. Um, the last three are all matte, so I'm going to just swatch them all here and like show you guys. I'm not... I'm not mad at these mats. I mean, they are better than the ones in 35F, I think, honestly. And I really like, I mean, this color is pretty pretty common and it's not, it's very nice. But this mustardy yellow I've not seen before and I think it's very pretty. I'm, I'm looking forward to see how to incorporate this. Um, again, a black. I am probably one of the few people who never use black. Um, I'd rather use a darker brown or darker red or darker purple to build up the color, but I don't know I just never reach for the blacks, but I, I know that a lot of people do and blacks are are very good for when you're trying to um, smoke out a look so this is the These are the swatches so you can see them. Yeah, you can like They're very pretty they're not uber pigmented which is not what um i was hoping for like the 35f but they are good i will definitely be reaching for this because it's very wearable super wearable super pretty um i'm quite, quite happy i bought them um they will go do work looks very well and the colors are very warm neutral which i i do like and it's got this green and this like olive green brown which I, I'm living for so I really like this shade this shade and this shade um, and of course I mean these are not not very anything special they're very dupable but I like the copper I like no nah, I'm not crazy about that one I like the copper I like this um, sort of bronzy one so yeah that's the Kathleen Light palette Kathleen Lights palette when Morphe palette collaboration um, yeah, I'm I'm happy I got this. I, I like it. It's not the best, but come on, it's more free prices. You're not paying a, a terrible lot of them. And it is curated, so I do enjoy um, what she picked out. And I do like watching Kathleen Lights, and I want to support her. So, yes. I hope this helps you make a decision because Morphe's going to restock Kathleen Lights soon. Uh, so you can make a decision whether you want it or not. I will put um, more photos of the actual swatches in the, the, com uh, in the po post below. So I hope that helps you decide. Um, not very, not, well, I would say actually they're pretty good. Even the mattes are better than what I expected. Um, not crazy pigmented, but having said that, when you're putting like darker mattes here, you don't want it to be so pigmented that once you put it there, you'll have to like work really hard to blend it out. So I found I found that when I when I use these, um, they're not very dark, yes, but you can build them up and they're actually pretty easy to work with. So yeah, it's a decent palette and um, very pretty shades. Um, and maybe I'm biased because I was also I, I just got this like almost at the same time. So I'm like, yes, green brown. I it, it's it's something new. Because I've been buying like a lot of neutrals and either I buy neutrals, basically warm neutrals or the burgundy sort of th um, palettes or I buy the rainbow, rainbow bright ones. So like the Juvia's Place Masquerade, the um, Urban Decay Spectrum, the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, very colorful. So yeah, I'm glad to talk to you tonight and I hope you have a great evening. Um, nice seeing you. Bye.